by the way, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you how much health he had left, because I could see his bar. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, I did a thing. <laughs> hey guys, look at me go. <laughs> oh. oh, you got a thing. Oh, you got a free Titanite shard. How lucky. Sweet. I mean, for some definition of free. It's actually a pretty reasonable drop. I wonder. Titanite costs 600? Oh, is it 1 1. Two two or is it one two two? Well, I'll, I'll I'll look when we when we level this up. Because if it's one one, it might actually be worth killing those three guys and getting like one hundred and fifty souls, and then just making it a plus two long sword. But if you need to spend, if you need to buy two titanites, then it's not. Now you need one titanite shard, which we have. Hooray. Nice. Yeah, and you need two Titanite Shards for a plus three. So. so how about that plus two longsword, though? Yay. Um, oh, we are resting here. Okay, that's fine. So, if you want, we can, you can run back to... Yeah, well, so the fencers are still there, right? The, sorry, the Balder Knights are still in the chapel, right? But yeah. now... But there's so, no patty. So, so, so is he gone for good now? Yeah, he's a mini-boss. He's just gone. Thank fucking god. <laughs> For good. He's dead. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, also, when Brendan was, like, laughing hysterically as soon as I, like, beat him, that was because I, like, looked at him open-mouthed and then dropped the controller. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that's how you do. Yeah. <laughs> Someone should just tell these guys. Oh, honey. Mm. By the way, you'll notice you did a. I mean, I don't remember how much damage you were doing to these guys before. Yeah. I only have the damages memorized for that ball at night. Yeah. Ooh, nimble guy. But I do remember that it took more than two hits to kill these guys. Well, they're both... Well, I did strong attack both on, on all of them. Sure, sure. <sighs> Alright. I like that the only reason we fought that guy was that he wouldn't go away. Like, he was just kind of being a creepy stalker. So can I get across here without... Yeah. Okay. You can just kinda... Even if you did aggro them, like... They whatever. Can... Yeah, like, whatever. Come at me. Yeah, let's go. I'm not afraid of you. Bitch ass motherfucker. This guy seems so fast by comparison. <laughs> no. You, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> I'm calling you out. You want to dance? Let's fucking dance. <laughs> right. Less dancing. I apologize. Oh man. I think Motika might be watching but not commenting on the stream. Another Philly magic person. Oh, cool. uh, I think that because I just got an email that he's following me on Twitch now, so. Oh my. I'm not gonna bother pulling up to see if he's in the chat, but. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually he's pointing out there are like some, some, cracked bricks. In, in the stonework of the uh, uh, of the stairs, and he's just pointing it out. Mm -hmm. 
No, he asked us to. Yeah. Take That's care. fine. You might have aggroed hit the other guy if you yeah. went out there. You will note, however, that you are dealing as much in two of those hits as you were in three. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. It's nice. It means that he probably is, al he's almost certainly net losing health when he ever Estes is within reach. <laughs> you can't win, Skeletor. I have the high ground. He kind of does look like Skeletor, too. Yeah, or the, like the Crypt Keeper, Crypt Keeper doing cosplay. Oh, friendo. How about 99? Yeah. Got 99 problems. Killing this dude ain't one. <laughs> now look right there. Someone could trip and fall. Nice movement. It's stabbed. Get bent, buddy. Unfortunately, I think mm -hmm. these guys have a hundred health. So, like, even with this, you might not be able to kill them in one hit. Because that's that's the ideal. We are, we will be super lucky if you can kill these guys in one hit. Because then this this combat gets a lot easier. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I think you'll just mostly kill them in one hit. It's been so long since we fought them. Well, if you want, you could go reset your bonfire. You do have 400 souls sitting up next to where the Baldurite is, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's his face is dead now, right? The big guy? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can keep fighting from this side. You just have to fight those three dudes. Yeah, I mean, no big deal. Yeah. I just have to go, so I have to go fight these three dudes. Nope. You need to go upstairs. I have to go fight these three dudes. Like I said, I have to go fight these three dudes, uh, and then I just go back to the elevator, which I should be able to get to without aggroing any of the Baldur Knights. Yep. And even if you do, once you go in the elevator, like, what are they going to do? Yeah. Like, fuck you guys. Unless you get in the elevator so slowly that one of them, you let one walk in there with you. Which would be kind of funny. For some definition of kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Also, you died. It was so long I forgot what it was like to write down on this thing. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a long life. Man, once you're done fighting Balder Knights in corridors, you're gonna feel like you can attack so quickly with a regular attack. Running through. All right, nice. Well, that's it. So left is the. Yep. I mean, it's not like running out of Estus has been the main problem, but it's good to have it set up. Maybe they would be calmed by the smooth elevator drive. We appear to be losing frames in the elevator. Of course we're losing frames. Let's just drop some frames. Now it's cool. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just gotta... Um... Okay, you did that. I did not tell you to go from there. 
That's true. <laughs> However. That's on you. Whatever. You should jump into the well. There's a, a thousand free humanities in there. <laughs> no, that might be, you know, more convincing if you hadn't told me that story already. Yeah. But what did you... I was you... gonna say, and didn't didn't spend a bunch of time trying to jump into the well during our first setup test. Yeah. Listen, man, that was real fun. I did it. Yeah. Success. All right. Ten Estus. One cool thing about Dark Souls 3 that they added... Excuse me, because you know you can see in the corner... That you have Estus, and it's like bright gold if it has something in it, and it's green it's if not. Yeah. So what they do in Dark Souls 3 is as you dr continue to drink your Estuses, mm -hmm. it like slowly changes color. Gotcha, so you can so you can see the closer it gets to... Yeah, so you have like some idea, even if you're just like out of the corner of your eye, that like, I still have Estus, but I'm running low. There's like, it's like, it adds like about one more, one or two more gradations of information that you can get very quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, he hit me. He did. That's a very nice hit me. Well, at least you're going to get a chance to recover. You recovered! Not a leap backwards, but or did you fall? <laughs> Ouch. Ask his publicist. Oh boy. Oh, well, at least you recovered. So there's that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You did. You did. Is your 126 death. Mm -hmm. Hey man, you know if the big black knight ever showed up again, you know what we could say? What? He put himself back in the narrative. That is reaching for some Hamilton quotes. That is reaching. <laughs> I have no shame. Fair enough. Yeah, we haven't decided sort of what uh, what sort of magic-y magic -y you're going to ultimately do. I get to do magic-y magic -y. If you want. Um, like, pyromancy is kind of the default one because it doesn't require any of the magic stats. Mm -hmm. Like, sorcery requires high intelligence. Uh, miracles require high faith. Pyromancy, you just like the, like, pyromancy... Like, each thing requires, like, a thing to do, like, cast spells. Mm -hmm. So, like, you, know, you need a staff to do sorcery, you need a, a, ch a chime to do miracles. But, like, the pyromancy hand, mm -hmm. uh, you can just upgrade it like a weapon, basically. Like, you just spend, spend souls to, to upgrade it, and it's totally, like, it's not based on your stats at all. Hmm. And so, that's usually the go-to for, like, martial, sword, fighty-fighty characters who aren't primarily doing magic. Yeah. Because you can spend all of your stat upgrades on the fighty bits. And then just incidentally, you know, yeah. sort of find better pyromancies around. I mean, that's like, I mean, not like a long way from here, mm -hmm. but like, it's a distance from here. Like it's you know there there are two bosses between there and it, between here and there. I see. So you know. So what you're telling me is at least another like three sessions. Yeah, exactly. Man, killing you is so much easier now. Remember 
how scary it was when you saw the first one? of actual scary things like fucking mob of fuck hollows. I was gonna say like getting one shot by hollows. Oh that is so rude. Yeah. Because they probably have a hundred health. Yeah. But a nice light attack from the right angle might might do it. You are about to act. Okay, you've aggroed one of them. Almost certainly. I was wrong, you didn't aggro the. Well, that's actually oh. pretty good to know. Yeah. Because I have that space to back up into. Yeah. There's just so many of them. Yeah. You gotta, <sighs> you gotta use. Like, you gotta either in that hallway where you first meet them, mm -hmm. or like in these hallways, but not in the, the two hallways you played the ball right in, you need to use your light attacks because they're faster. Yeah. And because your, your strong attack, especially, because it just barely doesn't kill them, like it's yeah. not worth the extra time it takes to wind up for the hit. Yeah. That's, that's one of the things that's killing you. Because then you get stun locked. Yeah. Does anyone in the chat have anything, uh, any questions they'd like me to answer about Dark Souls or not? You know, I mean, um, most of my experience, I like to keep this, the content Dark Souls centric. Uh, but you know, we've yeah. talked about a few other things. Yeah, I have a question. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Uh, I like Dark Souls. Is that a secret? No. Do I, do I ever keep games oh. that I like? A secret. Oh man. If it were at all relevant to the nature of our relationship, we could do like something with a newlywed tag or whatever. What? Are you are you it's like it's like where you ask like you ask both Oh, okay. Yeah. People of I like, didn't know what was the word you said after newlywed? Tag. Tag. Oh, okay, sure. Yes. Sure, sure. Uh, I actually, so Stephanie and I played, like, played that at one of her office's Christmas parties. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it was very funny. Mm -hmm. Because there were multiple times where, you know, she had written down what she thought I would say. Mm -hmm. And I said something else. Mm -hmm. And then she revealed what she wrote. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, that's a much better answer for, like, that is, like. Yeah. Like, that is much more correct. Yeah. Like, as a perfect prediction of what I would say, had I actually remembered what I consider the correct answer. Yeah. That's pretty cute. Yeah. <sighs> she knows me a little bit. I mean, you know. You guys have been together for some amount of time, right? Yeah. Working on 14 years at this point. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, this is our 13th, I think, in April. Yeah. All right. The gang's all here. Yeah, so like you could do light attacks in this hallway. Okay. Or draw them all the way back down the stairs. But those two middle, those two things in the middle are too thin. Yeah. Especially because light attacks are like, are likely to stagger them a little bit. Yeah, so this hallway, is, like you could probably even do, you could probably do light attacks in that hallway. Mm -hmm. You just need to stay to the one side so that your arm is swinging. As I said, you might want to change who you're targeting there. Drink.
Yeah, the other benefit of the light attack is that it is, Ow. it is like wider, right? The very thing that causes you to get hooked up in those hallways means that you you happen to clip people. Nice drink. That is a really good drink. Um, means that you happen to clip people on the side, you know. Jesus. Oh, look, I am. Oh, great. A broken straight sword. My favorite. And you managed to not aggro the, uh... I guess it's just if you step out into the pew area. Yeah. Okay, so you stole the channeler. That's fine. Yeah. At least I killed the fu Hold on, we're gonna do a body count. One, two, three... What, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there were about ten, like I thought. Yeah. I can't remember whether they're exactly ten or just on the order of ten. Mm. Well, we'll find out, won't we? And I look, there's gonna be like millions. Just him. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, she knows she doesn't need to untarget to change target. So now I have to go downstairs and face the dudes anyway. Um, you can try and pull him close to you so you don't aggro them because they will be buffed by him. Yes, I know. Oh god, he's gonna stay there and shoot at you. You just ignore him. You can just keep going. Really? Yeah. Really? Like, if we die, you're gonna have to like do yeah. like he'll still be there. Yeah, all this. You can't perma kill. Him. Like you have to perma kill. Like you have to kill him to perma kill him. But yeah. we well, just ignore him. Like we're not going back down there. Sweet. This life. Sweet. It's just the sun is reflecting off some swamp gas from your Venus. And Sit tall. Oh, look. Hello, friend. A Beldur. A Beldur Knight. Another perfect kill. Mm -hmm. Oh! They no. bowled their armor. We got armor, sweet. I'm gonna give it a. Yeah. Give it a fashion souls. <laughs> fashion souls! And here, just hit X when you get over the Balder armor. Oh, yeah, so it has better defense and better poise. It has slightly worse, like some of the weird defenses, and it weighs 10. What does your th normal thing weigh? Five. Okay. So it weighs five pounds more. Okay. Does that take me into fatty? Tank? We can find out. We can put it on and we'll see. It probably does, honestly, but. So just roll. Yep. Straight. I mean, on the other hand, you don't roll. That's true. I don't. I don't. I don't roll. Very you don't much. actually roll ever. So. Yeah. You can try it out for a while. You found the secret. Yep. That's okay. I wasn't gonna let you miss this. Were you referencing something from the Harry Potter games when you said you found the secret? No. Oh man, do you not remember the Harry Potter games that uh, came out with the things? Uh, the yeah, like I do now that you said that. A lot of combat rolling, right? Yeah. So. You figured it out! You found the secret! That's okay, I wasn't gonna let you miss this. Yeah. Were you referencing something from the Harry Potter games when you said you found the secret? No. 
Oh man, do you not remember the Harry Potter games that huh. came out with the things? Uh, the... Yeah, like I do now that you said that. Here, yeah, rotate so you can see him. Then I am in love. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck. Also, I mean, just chat, like, this is another NPC, so like all other NPCs, like, don't say anything about this future person's storyline. Like, he's got a very cool storyline. And, like, I don't want people spoiling it in chat. Yeah, I used the mystery key to do it. You did. So. Can I talk to you? Yep. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Cadillac. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee... Yeah, so what he's going to do is he's going to go back to uh, Firelink Shrine. You know, friend, if there's anything I learned from Jafar, it is whenever someone says, I have a reward for you only later. What they, what, what they, I have the reward you deserve. Giving you your reward. Your eternal yes, reward. That That's actually a great great point, Britt, that if we're if we're already committing to fat roll, we can wear boar helm. Oh, that's true. If you want. Like, we could just go full full, 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 full fat. fat, and we could wear balder gloves and boar helm. Eh. I mean, the problem is that I still want, like, some mobility. Well, so the thing is, is, like, you've already hit the fat roll cap. Mm -hmm. The only other cap is once you get above 100%, you can't roll at all. Like, everything between here and full doesn't affect your mobility. Okay. So, obviously, we don't want to put all that on and not be able to roll at all. Though, at this point, like, you basically can't roll. But, look at that. Gloves, and those nasty leather gauntlets. Yeah, let's get them out of here. Look at that. I am so stylish. Look at that, styling. Also, you're still in the menu. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh, well, let's check out that roll. That classy roll. Well, sweetheart, you tried. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. We gotta go fat. Gotta go fat. Uh -huh. Humanity! Sweet. Oh, and I can't lose it, right? It's yep, item. it's an item. Yes. Tasty, tasty. But I don't really know where to go from here. I'm just going to keep wandering. Yeah, that's fine. You still haven't explored sort of this upper floor of the of the chapel, so. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was really afraid of Balder Knights, and now I'm just like, whatever. Oh, he moved back here. Fuck yeah. He moved back here. He's right there. Nice. <laughs> you know what? 100% blocks magic? Pillars. Yeah, you could probably just fucking cut him. Just watch out for when he stabs. <laughs> like, he. Because he is buffing himself. Right. That's the main thing. It's like, he's pretty weak. But he is buffing himself. Uh, he's not buffing himself anymore. Oh, yeah, that's not mine. It's hard to see. I would probably drink. Ow. You got this. I believe in you. This nerd's lasers fill you with determination. Yeah, you can. Okay, so just block and then now you can probably get him. Stab him. Nice. Oh, he can also kind of fly. I see. Is he running? He's trying to. Yeah, he's buffing himself. Just attack. Just attack. Okay, now he's buffed. So now, a little, a little bit more careful. I think that only buffs his attack. I don't think that buffs his laser. Obviously, the laser will interrupt you or whatever. Yeah. But. 
does fucking work. Ouch. Well, he's dead. Forever. What? He does not have a lot of health. Oh. He's really weak. Ooh. He, he gets by with a little help from his friends. Such souls. Mm hmm. You can probably level up at some point. Oh, yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. You could indeed. Alright, so can we go out? If this is the way we just that's came. The way you, that, that's one of the ways you came from. So there's a door right there. Yep, there we go. A large soul of a nameless soldier. I think that might be the 1600s old. So, you definitely will have a level. Mm -hmm. Is this where I came from? Nope. Mm -hmm. This is the other way to go. Growing up. Growing up. Dropping things one by one. Man. I don't want to do it. Okay. I don't want to do so it. So I'm not going to tell you whether or not this is a boss or this is just a continuation. Mm -hmm. But if it is a boss. Mm -hmm. Your soul, and you die in it, your souls will be inside the boss room. Yeah. So what you could do is you could homeward bone back okay. to the bonfire and spend the souls on like a level. Now when you come back here, you have to kill the Balder Knight, ten guys without their chanting buddy, and that's it to get back to this point. Because the other Balder Knight off on the second floor, you don't aggro him unless you go down that hallway with the guy in the cage. That's true. Yeah, we should probably do so, that. So I would recommend... Even if, like, let's say there's, like, 50% 50, 50 odds that this is a boss, right? Like, having a level is nice. So I would just Homeward Bone home. You could probably honestly walk home, actually, and not use Homeward Bone. Wow. Yep. Sorry. Okay. I'm like, how do I climb down? Yeah, I'm not saying whether that's a boss or not. But... It seems, so, it seems to me, given that the last traversing the white light, and also, like, it's been a good space of time since... That's true, since, since Taurus. Since the uh, Taurus demon, and also I fought a lot of, like, I've been in a lot of different combat situations mm -hmm. since... Uh, You've learned a lot since Taurus demon. Yeah. So, you could probably fucking wreck Undeadburg if you walk through there now. Probably. Doesn't mean I'm gonna try it. Sure. Yeah, and actually, the other cool thing is if we go back to Firelink. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we actually should just Homeward Bone. Just use a Homeward Bone, it's fine. Okay. Like, it, it's a, it's an item like uh, that gets used up, but we have, like, seven of them or something. Um, yeah, six. That's fine. It'll save some time, and it also runs a loading screen. Because the, one of the other things is that, like, you need to do this to get... You know when I said he'll be back at Firelink? Mm -hmm. That only happens if you go through a loading screen, basically. Because, oh. like, the game doesn't handle loading in things just sort of dynamically. Yeah. Um, that's fixed. So th that's totally, like, in the other ga in basically all the other games, you always warp back to Firelink, essentially. You, ne you almost never walk back, mm -hmm. and so it's not a problem. So if you go down near where the Firekeeper is, he's near where the Firekeeper is if you want to hang out and chill. Fire keep and chill. Oh. Just chilling. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please accept it. Oh, cool. I'm grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> um. Not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> I mean, in his defense, everyone in the game so far has had a creepy laugh um, at the end of what they say. Um. Uh, um. What? It seems kind of. Creepy? Sinister? 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 
That's true of most people in this game. Level up? Oh. Huh. Oh, the Fire Souls. Yeah, 758. So, okay. So. Uh. So, vitality is health. We don't want to do attunement. That's, like, really the magic stuff. Yeah. Uh, endurance is... Here, can you click over endurance? Because I think... And, yeah, endurance is stamina and equip load. Yep. And then strength, I believe... Yeah, is just weapon damage. Yep. So, I think those are, like, the three main ones that, that you want to decide between. Mm -hmm. Is whether you want to do a little bit more damage, or you want to be able to have a little bit more stamina and carry limit, mm -hmm. or if you want to be, you have a little bit more health. Your call. Yeah, I mean, probably vitality. Okay, seems fine. Yeah, well, so, oh, true, because I can't carry much more? I mean, I don't know what your equip load, like, what your carry limit is right now, but, yeah, so. like, in regards to what you currently have. So, if you, if you increase your endurance, it's possible that, like, you could keep on the boar helm and not have fatty roll. Mm -hmm. But but I don't I'd have to look at like the math and stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm just looking at increasing strength versus increasing vitality. And it seems like it's like pretty like like all of the lower stats that are improving also improve with strength and it e seems like pretty comparable increases. Yeah, yeah. All the all the defenses kind of improve on most other stats like a little bit so get healthy nice yeah we're not getting the spear who's spear uh he was talking about this the halberd the the wing spear that we were looking at, like the stats for that I, I looked up the stats for where you were two levels away yeah um, if you wanted, you could pop that soul item if you wanted to get another level right away. It's up to you. <laughs> it's a good look. Mm -hmm. Gotta go fast. Oh, okay. So let's go into your equipment and take a bunch of that garbage that gets auto put on your, it gets put on your little like circle. It's really annoying. That's another thing that they've eventually changed. So just, yeah, just unequip the humanity and the soul item. So that you'll never accidentally flip to them and use them. Humanity can be, when you pop a humanity, it also heals you fully. Yeah. Uh, but they are so much useful for other things. It's only useful, it's actually useful, so if you're, like, co oping with someone, mm -hmm. if you are in someone else's world, you, you can't use Estus. Really? Yeah. Why? Wow. You just can't. Like, like, it's kind of like your spirit is being brought there. So you, you kind of bring a spirit version of your stuff, and in some way the Estus is, like, tied to your home bonfire, your home bonfires or something. I don't know. It's complicated. Lower reasons. But what that means in the game is a lot of times. And I think... I don't think in Dark Souls 1. I think Dark Soul, in Dark Souls 2 and 3, mm -hmm. if someone... You, if an ally uses Estus near you, you also heal a little bit. But I don't think you do in Dark Souls 1. So I think the only way to heal in Dark Souls 1 is either having spells that heal you, or pop just having a shit ton of humanities and popping them like candy. Yeah. And like, you know, I mean, if there's a lot of stuff there, then that's cool. Yeah. You know what we need these humanities for? Is to kindle important bonfires. Works are hollowing. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Like, we're fine. Like, a new weapon would change, like, some of the things, but especially now that our longsword is a plus, plus two longsword. Like, while it w would be nice to, like, poke things with your shield still up, like, you do a ton of damage. Man, that boar helm is hilarious, and I love it. Oh wow, did you see that? What? He stabbed you and you still kept stabbing him. 
the, the armor that you have on gave you enough poise that you ignored, that you didn't get knocked back by it from its head. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool, especially if, like, you know that a hit is, is enough to kill them. Then you can, like, you're just like, I don't care, I'll soak the damage, because yeah. I know you're going to die. Also, we kind of did a dodge where we repaired a bunch of our armor because we're now wearing new armor. Mm -hmm. So these guys, they can still stun lock you, but yeah. they don't do half your health. And you can do the normal, yeah, the light slings in here. Yeah. 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 You just gotta watch out when, like, they go ham. Conga line. Hollow limbo. Hollow limbo. Remember, you can, like, tick left and right to, to change who you're targeting in the target stance. Hitting that. Yeah. I would suggest a drink. Yeah. It is also kind of unfair that the enemies get caught up in the geometry way less than you do. Yeah. Like they just swing on through. But I think. Like that would. I think that would certainly be a lot harder to program without having the enemies, all, like mindlessly hitting the wall over and over again trying to hit you, you know? Yeah. I think you got him. There might be like one or two more up there that didn't get pulled, but... Yeah. You got him. You didn't You didn't pull the, the knight. Mm -hmm. Also, you'll notice, now that you're regularly killing them all, that you have 900 souls. <laughs> but that's fine. Mm -hmm. But there's just something to keep in mind that, like, you can pick up a level by clearing out the things to get up here. Yeah. If we do fight a boss, at least we fight him with eight Estus. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. Eight Estus, full health, lots of armor. Mm -hmm. Except if it's a guy that I have to be like nimble with, I'll be very sad. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's some bosses that you absolutely need to be able to roll with them. Um, oh, you're on the roof. That's cool. Oh man, look up. You can see the, you can see something up there. Is that the castle? That's, that's something else. That's a castle, sort of. That's just, I wanted to be able to look at it because that's another one of those things where like the, the head designer's philosophy of like anything you can see, you're going to go do at some point in the game. Mm -hmm. You go there at some point. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, 30 hours from now, but, but you go there.
sure can. So this might be a fight where you want the ability to roll sideways. Uh, also, it's a boss. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, I mean, I figured it was going to be Yeah, so yeah. Like, I think that was pretty transparent. Yeah. And I was like, by the way, this, I'm not saying this is a boss, but you might want to go level up. Also, a much easier run than the Taurus Demon run. Yeah, actually. Like, in the Taurus Demon run, you didn't actually fight anyone, but, like, these guys are pretty pretty simple to kill. Alright, so we just go back to all of our standard shit. That hard leather. Yeah, maybe I'll What's our uh, toggle hit Y? 21 of 47. Oh, yeah, we could actually still wear this. Yeah. We're about, we're below 50%. Like, we'll double check when we roll, but I'm pretty sure that we can, we can still wear that. Yep. Yeah. Real roll. Like so much less pain, Real medium roll. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't be strutting around the top of that rooftop. Yeah. It's like, whatever. I'll just soak some damage from this giant bell gargoyle. Nice cash. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't do a fucking plunging attack on him because, well, he can fly. Yeah. So. And this is definitely, like, I'm glad that the boss run is, like, pretty easy. Because <laughs> this is one of the harder bosses in the game. Like, from a... Like, obviously the bosses get harder and harder, mm -hmm. but, like... Uh oh hardest, is it, hardest in the game, Nigel thinks. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, everyone has sort of their own personal hardest boss. Um, but, like, what this does is it, like, it asks all the learning that you've done mm -hmm. in the parish, like, it asks you to put that to use. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, now you're doing this thing. Um, it's like... It's like, remember the fun dancing you were doing with all those Balder Knights? Mm -hmm. Now imagine that they move, like, faster than that, and they hit twice as hard or whatever. All right. Now get out of their way. Yeah. Oh boy, you are out of stamina. Uh, I Hi, souls. I mean, that's gonna happen when you're doing yeah. a boss run, and you're just... Yeah. Just no souls. Mm -hmm. Shit happens, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, you know, whenever you kill a boss, then you have a bunch of souls. Yeah, so also, I think this might be a good place to call it. Okay. Because I d will not be killing the boss. Today. No, you don't think you're killing the bell gargoyles on... Bell gar One of, if, 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 if not the hardest boss in the game yeah uh no probably not and plus this will give us a good like starting point for next time that's a good point yeah now we're just doing bell gargoyle boss rounds yeah cool all right so good time to break mm -hmm. um yeah let's uh i guess that'll that'll be the end of it here let's let's do some uh Some, put some things on the bar here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. We should put on the boar helm and then do that gesture to say goodbye. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's put our let's put our fashion souls back on. Yeah. Did you want to put all the fashion souls on? Or? Nah. Okay. I guess it is only just the balder shirt. Alright, bye everyone. Thanks for tuning in.